joined now by Brandon Bussey. Brandon's second career shutout and a great performance all weekend after a bit of a letdown last week in Denver. Yeah, I mean, I think the boys just, uh, we battled really hard. We had a little adversity there in the first and second, but, you know, pounce on our opportunities and it uh, feels good. A little bit more work to do today, but, you know, without the eight-minute break you got yesterday, uh, I just talk about the performance tonight and, and the guys in front of you also blocking a lot of shots. Uh, felt really good. I mean, I was seeing the puck really well for uh, the circumstances. Uh, vision's all good, so uh, that's good. And uh, again, like you said, uh, just a buy in the block shots. I mean, love playing in front of a team like that. Go on the road next week, St. Lawrence, you know, no conference play. You know, what do you do you need to keep focused during the holiday weekend? And what's a long road trip out to New York? Just looking at the end goal. I mean, our goal is to make the tournament. And uh, there's two games up for grabs. That's, that's all that matters. Always nice to see your guys uh, putting goals in the other side of the net to give you a cushion. For sure, it makes it a lot easier uh, playing with a 3 nothing lead than a 1 nothing lead or something like that. So, I mean, I think we buried on our opportunities and we made plays when we had to. Thanks, Brandon. Thanks. Joined now by uh, Mikey Joyo. Mikey's six-year career goals, more than half, come against St. Cloud. What is it about this team you like playing? Uh, I guess it must be playing against former coach. I, I mean, it could just be an excuse, but I don't know. Something about playing against this team, just given – the rank and how good they are, I always tend to pick up my game first time. It was a different game tonight compared to last night. You know, first period last night, not a whole lot of chances. Tonight, a lot of chances. Um, you know, you gave up quite a few shots, but how did you limit their their really good chances? Uh, our strategy is stay on top of them, play fast. I think pretty much being on top of them, a lot, not allowing them to get shots and blocking shots as well, doing that. Always get... Good to get a shutout. What do you say to Brandon after a victory like that? He played a hell of a game. Joined now by head coach Pat Fershweiler. Uh, coach, uh, what a way to finish the weekend. Well, it was a great win, and obviously lots of that was due to Brandon Bussey, who uh, played great in those first two periods for us when we needed him the most. And I thought the third period was a real team effort, and we didn't allow him a lot of clean looks for sure. Penalty kill. Uh, didn't have too many chances out there tonight, but was really stellar. They were stellar, and again, your penalty kills as good as your goaltender. You know what I mean. But uh, there was effort, there was block shots, there was there was good reads, and really, it was just a high compete level for sure. Crazy twenty seconds there. You get the first goal, followed by Joyos. Uh, talk about the emotions on the bench there after those two. Well, we needed that first goal. I mean, they were carrying the play. Let's not kid ourselves. They were coming out with pressure, and, and we were under a lot of heat. And it was at the kind of the end of a power play. Uh, the power play was just average for sure. But those guys were still out there, and they made a nice play. And, and uh, you know, I think they just found a way to get it in the net. And then Michael Joyo makes a high-end skill play like he does most nights. Big morale booster sweeping a top team after being swept last weekend. Well, for sure. Again, I mean, this was a gutty effort. We were sick all week, lots of guys, like, including last weekend. So for us to bounce back and, and just even find the energy to compete like that and compete at that level, well, I'm real proud of the guys. Thanks, Rich. Thanks, guys.